And welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm Maya. Well, if you saw the last uh, video, you know, we started off our holiday cookies with rum balls. So today we are actually in the process of making is our Christmas time uh, chocolate chip cookies. And as you can see here, I've got the batter um, already in here. And I'm using um, this number uh, 20 scoop, uh, which is made for cookies and everything. So what we're doing is, is we're running them on a half sheet tray. Don't spray the sheet tray. You're going to use a dry sheet tray or dry cookie tray, whatever you have. And that's because there's a lot of butter in this one. And I'll explain the recipe in a minute. But we got a batch going right now. And um, I'll give you, like I say, I'll show you what they look like and everything and how we did them. But to begin with, we're going to, um, I'll give you out the layout of the recipe here. So for these chocolate chip cookies, we're going to use two and a half cups of flour. We're going to use a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now this is, this is where it gets good. You have two sticks of butter, soften, you know, leave it out, let it soften. We have one and a half cups of brown sugar, a half a cup of sugar, two eggs, and we basically use in our recipe one um, standard bag like this. It's an 11 and a half ounce bag of chocolate chips. So how we did this recipe was, is we started off with the room temperature butter threw that into our mixing bowl, and we ended up bringing it, um, whipping it all together with the brown sugar and the sugar. Once you get that all incorporated and all creamed together, you then add, I then ended up adding the eggs, the vanilla, the baking soda, the baking powder, salt, let those ingredients come together. Then I put the chocolate chips in, just poured the whole bag right in, Mixed it on low till it was just starting to incorporate. Then, after that, I added the two and a half cups of flour in, about a half a cup per time, you know, to, to get it to all mix up and everything. And mixed it up really well. And we left it in this bowl because the idea with this uh, recipe is, is that you want to let this chill overnight. Um, it's still a little wet, but like I say, you gotta let it, you gotta let it, you know, wrap it tight, let it sit in your refrigerator overnight. This recipe makes about 36 to 48 uh, chocolate chip cookies. And, and like I say, all depends on the size. You know, if you make them a little bit bigger, eh, you know, you might get about three dozen or so. If you make them a little bit smaller, eh, 48, maybe a little bit more than that. But um, I'm not 100, you know, not 100 percent sure, but it, it ranges, like I say, depending on how heavy of a scoop you use, um, you know, you can get 36 to 48 cookies. So as soon as this batch is done, we're going to take it out and then I'm going to show you um, what they look like. And then I'll put some more on a tray and show you that. But um, that is uh, our Christmas cookie so far for this year. This is our second one, our holiday Christmas cookie. This is, you know, the one that the uh, kids all love. My nieces and everything love it. Um, things like that. So I just wanted to say while I got a couple seconds here that, you know, if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button. And, you know, if you could, while you're here too, if you like what you see on these videos, please give them a thumbs up because it really helps out the channel. And, you know, it also helps to get the video out there more. So I'm going to pause this. We got about eh, six minutes on the timer or so. Show you what the cookies look like when they come out and uh, what they what they all look like. So we'll be right back. All right, and so we're back. We've got about about roughly about a minute uh, left on these uh, batch of cookies. And after I looked at it, yeah, you're looking at roughly about if you use a number twenty scoop like what I have uh, in the bowl right here, you're looking at probably roughly about forty cookies, uh, give or take about 36, 40 cookies. So. Let's say 36, make it, you know, make it an even one. So, you know, three dozen. But I'm going to show you then what they look like when they come out. And what I found with these cookies is, is that as soon as you take them out of the oven, I know your impulse is, is you know, you want to take that spatula and get them off of that uh, sheet tray right away. But I found is, is don't do that. 
Let the cookies, as soon as they come out, and like I said, I'll show you as soon as they come out here. Let the cookies sit on the sheet pan for about, roughly about a minute or two. And then, okay, so let me get these out real quick and then I'll explain. So, as you can see, they, they, they don't spread too much. They spread, you know, just enough. But now I know, like I say, a lot of people, you want to, you know, you want to grab your, you want to grab your spatula and you want to, you know, get them off of the sheet tray because you're, you know, afraid that, you know, they're going to burn or they're going to, uh, whatever. What I found with this recipe is, is that since this recipe is such, uh, has like two sticks of butter in it, um, the cookies are really soft, like when they first come out. So you want to give that cookie a little bit of time to cool down, um, you know, to where you can like get it off the pan real easy. Another tip is, is that if you're making this recipe and you're going to, you know, make it in multiple batches, which, you know, of course you are, but when you make it in multiple batches, what happens is, is sometimes is, is that you start off with a dry uh, half pan like this, but because of the butter, the chocolate chips, um, everything that's, you know, in the dough, what happens is, is that it makes the pan, um, kind of like greasy a little bit. And what I found out is, is that, you know, if you keep putting the dough, you know, same position, like what I have here, the uh, four by three, what happens is, is that um, that spot on the tray becomes greasy. That affects the way the cookie bakes. It'll actually then start to let the cookie, you know, spread more. Um, it won't bake right. It won't set up right. So to cure that problem in between like the baking batches here, what I do is, is I just, like I say, there's a purpose for letting it cool. First of all, you know, is to set up the cookies. But second of all is, is that when you finally do take them off the tray and let them, you know, chill out, um, basically what I do is, is uh, you see behind me here, I have uh, a brown paper bag that I set them on and, you know, let, let the um, excess of like butter or whatever that, you know, might be on the underside uh, soak into the paper so then they're not so greasy. But like I say, it also then gives you a chance to, once you let it, you know, cool down for about two minutes, wipe your tray dry. Then that way, when you put the next cookie on, first of all, it's not a hot tray. The dough won't like relax, you know, and spread real quick. But also, with it being a dry tray, it'll stop it from spreading. And like I say, as you can see here, you know, they, they do spread. But like I say, they're not like real huge or whatever they don't get real huge they they actually turn out really nice so let me just um let me just see one here make sure that they're setting up like i want them to yeah now see give it just a couple more minutes here a couple another minute or so here but they are coming off well i'll you know here i'll end up taking them off and i just end up putting them like i say right on them right under the um the brown paper here you can also use a um you can also use a cooling rack um i like i said i just me personally um it, my mom used to do this a lot and when we were growing up we never like really used a rack um to cool our cookies my mom always uh put them on brown paper like this and i guess like i say the main reason for that is is um that's the kind of like collect the little bit of uh, butter and all that and grease, you know, that's underneath the cookie here. So just throw these all onto the thing. And this is another reason, like I say, and why, and I'll show you. What happens is, is that if you rush it and you don't let it, you don't keep the stuff clean or you don't, whatever, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna end up tearing your cookies. And you don't, you know, like I say, you don't want that to happen. So what I do is, is should be, yeah, it's cool enough for me to touch. But as you can see here, you see like all the residue and you can kind of see like the, the little bit of a grease spots. So just, like I said, just take a piece of paper towel and I just kind of, kind of wipe it clean like this. And I do this on all my cookies um, in between. I know like when I used to do it, um, like in restaurant settings and all that and everything, you know, you had multiple sheet trays. So, you know, you could, you could lay out like, uh, 
you know, 12, 20, 24 cookies at a time. And, you know, then when they were done, you just took the sheet tray, threw them on a rack, let them cool. I'll be right back. Well, you know, this way, we don't, we don't have that option here um, at the house. But, like I say, this is the easiest way to do it. And then, like I say, all you do, just take a level scoop full of your cookie dough and just lay it out on your sheet tray. And again, I do this like four by three, it, you know, very evenly spaced. And it gives the cookies, um, gives the cookies enough room to expand here. So let me get these on here. And we'll get this last little batch into the oven here. And like I say, and again, roughly about 36 cookies, give or take. But like I say, this is a favorite among my nieces and all that and everything. And uh, also a favorite amongst me. So get them in the oven here. And again, that's 375 for about 12 minutes. And what you end up with, I'll show you the final product and take some pictures here. But what you end up with is, is a, a real nice cookie like this. Uh, nice and round and a, and a soft cookie too. Uh, but like I say, you, you break into it here and just give it a try. You get it. You know, you get that classic flavor of a chocolate chip cookie. You get the uh, brown sugar because most of, most of the recipe here is brown sugar. But it's a real nice, moist cookie. And I hope you try it out, you know, for your um, holidays, gatherings, or for the kids or for whoever. So, again, if you like this video, please, you know, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Because uh, we got a couple more uh, cookies here coming up. And after the holiday season, we got some other stuff we'll be doing for uh, like Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter. You know, out in the garden, flower planting, landscaping, you name it. We're going to cover it. So until then, everyone, I'm Maya with the Walski Group. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you here on the next video where, like I said, we now have our dough ready for our um, mint uh, mint chocolate cutouts, which that'll be the next video that'll be out with uh, by Friday, I believe, or so. So, like I said, keep an eye out for that, and we'll see you next time, all right? Have a good one, everyone. See you later.